Okay, so we're back at the cabin and or Jonathan's house, and we've got some nice two by fours this time. Um, I told them specifically what I needed, so we don't have any of these um, not so nice looking ones. And you have to ask for a premium. So I asked for premium, and premium is what I got this time. So. We're going to start finish out framing the bathroom wall and the door for this side and then we'll go from there. Uh, 21 inches is what we need um, for center for the door and then I'll measure, um, once I've got center I'll measure out on each side so that we can make the door away. So, um, figured out unfortunately is I was wanting a sliding barn door and to have a 30 inch opening in a 60 inch wall for a door does not leave enough space to have a 30 inch door um, to slide because of the framing that's required for the door on each side because you need a 32 inch opening roughly usually for a 30 inch door and even if I framed it just 30 inches and didn't make it for any type of a frame to fit in it would still because of the framing not make it so we gotta go from there I, I don't I didn't want any type of a pocket door come open uh, a regular door to open so I guess we'll have to look at and see what we can do with that not sure. I'm going to have to think about this one okay. for a bit. After doing some manipulation and some measuring and checking out Jonathan, looks like we're going to do a 24-inch door. Because 24 inches wide is wide enough for him easily to pass through. Um, and it, it'll allow us to um, still have space to be able to slide the door open so and, and do the barn door so it won't take up any space on this side. That's the key. I don't want to use up any space on this side because this is the side where his bed is going to go, and I really don't want to have to rearrange the entire room to figure that out. So, anyway, that's that's what we're going to do. And I told him, you know, if we get it in and it turns out it's a little too small, well, you know, that's the thing is, it's custom made. We can always make it a little bigger. But that'll give us ample room to be able to slide that door. Okay, so I added another stud right here for the framing, the doorway framing. Now I'm going to, from this stud, I'm going to measure. 24 inches over, and then I'm going to put the secondary stud, and then we'll frame out the top from there. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. How this is how you uh, knock down your pro. So we have it framed. I'm going to put in some braces in between this area, staggering down. And then we'll set the wall up and try to join it. And also what I did was 
I marked off where the actual shower is. I've, I've got a Curdy shower system coming, so the it, it's already got the braided floor. We were going to go with the mortar floor, but the more I read on it, I think we would have had to reinforce. The floor is, is a pretty sturdy floor and reinforced, but um, the more I was reading on it, they said that if you do a con complete concrete or, or mortar flooring, that you could be looking at, um, you know, a thousand pounds or upwards till it's done. So I thought, mm, in a five foot area, I don't know if that's, we wanted to do that. So I ordered the Curdy system so you don't have to do the mortar. And then we'll go like with river rock on the bottom, something like that, you know, and, and put it in, not, not like big rocks, but you know what I'm saying, that'll look like it. Cause we still want to keep that rustic uh, industrial style going. So, like I said, we, the membrane is coming, the, the Curdy shower base is coming, and then we'll just go from there. And, I, and I'm probably going to go ahead and get the, the, the Curdy drain since it goes with it. They've got a really nice industrial um, oiled brass looking one. So, keep it with the metals. here to bring the you know we bring it connecting the top wall together and I needed one more piece to cut and the Ryobi battery finally died so I was able to cut all these pieces that's not bad with one single battery so yeah I've got four batteries so um, I'm just gonna switch it out and make that last cut Woohoo! Bathroom's gonna be done soon. What I've started doing now is um, on the bottom all the way around the floor, I'll be putting these, um, I guess those are two by eights. 
two by sixes, two by eights, it doesn't matter. They need to be at least two by sixes um, because the waterproofing that I bought, the Curdy the Curdy waterproof layer that that I bought, will go up each of the walls six inches. So in order to have something to attach to all the way around, I fill in each one of these with a board that size. Like I said, it could be a, a that's a roughly two by eight. Um, could be a, a two by six. I'm just using what I have that's available. So I'll do that and get that going all the way around. <laughs> 